Hi, it's Penny here, and in this video, I'm going to be putting together my new library. At the moment, it's pretty much just an empty room, but I have my bookshelves here, uh, these bits and these bits. I did think maybe I would need to look up the instructions to put them together, but now that I've laid them out, maybe I'm just going to try without the instructions. Maybe I'll recredit, it, but we'll try. Uh, so this is one bookshelf. I've got another one still to unpack, and then all my books are out on the porch at the moment, so I need to get these together so I can bring them inside but there's just too much stuff until I try and get this sorted so there's two bookshelves then we can do books oh no it's bookshelves desk books general tidying that's the plan let's see how it goes Okay, so it is much later at night, hence the darkness, but we have constructed the bookshelves, including Jace helped me put the little extensions at the top. Because the ceilings are so high in here, there's still heaps of room above there, so I guess we'll see how I'm going to use that. As well, we did get my desk up. It still needs a lot of tidying and working out what I'm actually doing there, but what I'm going to do now is start doing something with all these book boxes. I don't really have a plan. I mean, part of me was pretty happy with my old organization, so maybe I kind of want to duplicate that, but I think I didn't have everything on the shelf when I had my old organization. Also, there are still some other boxes that we have somewhere else that we probably won't get for a couple of weeks, so I probably won't finish this video until I get them on the shelf, and I'm a little bit worried that I actually have too many books and not enough shelf space, but I guess the only way to really find out is just to start putting things on there. So I do actually already have these books, kind of a random stack of books that I've either acquired recently, library books, some random books that I had packed up in random places. I've got these already here. Do they really know where they belong? Not really. And then I also have this box open, which is all of my like nice-ish books. So I guess I'll try and get these on the shelf first. Do your beat Want it to blend in No self-expression Cause I Wanted you to see I'm not so different Fit in your system So why Do you tell me I'm wrong When I say the same thing Okay, so last night I kind of had in my head This idea that I would just get all the books out of the boxes and stick them on the shelves and like organize them as I went very quickly. I realized that was completely overwhelming. And so I decided just to like put everything on the shelves so that I could actually see what I have. Um, from doing that, I realized I'm definitely missing some books. I knew I had some, some books at a family member's place, but I thought they were kind of unrelated, but there's like bits of series that I'm missing. So I think I'm going to I'm going to wait to do the full reorganization once I've had some more time to think about what I've got until I've got those books. I do think though what I might try and do is like recreate some of the the particular shelf organizations that I used to have at my old house. Uh recreate those shelves as a starting point and then see what else I've got because I know some of those shelf layouts I really liked and this just feels like a mess at the moment. I have no idea what's going on. But we did bring up uh, the rest of our boxes that we left in the garage today, and I did find one box that supposedly has some more books in it. So let's see if they're the ones that I think they are. Okay, it's mostly clothes. So this is my VCI 300 that I used to have on display on my shelves. And maybe I would still want to do that. Okay, so in here we have the rest of the Crown of Stars trilogy or Septet. The rest of the Crown of Stars series. And then as well, the missing books that I had from the Saga of Exiles by Julian May. So that will fill some gaps, but we still have some more. To be the one to make you laugh 
Hello, so some time has passed since I last worked on organizing my bookshelves because just life and I got sick so let's try to get back into it. I did try to organize a few of these shelves like my old pictures. A couple I was able to do but a couple I struggled with because I discovered I'm still missing books but I do now have the rest of my book boxes so hopefully <laughs> we will find some of those ones that I know I'm missing and I guess we'll see what else there is that I've forgotten about. So let's start at the top here. Okay, these ones I think are pretty much all Sweet Valley High books. Oh, maybe not all of them. Oh, Sweet Valley High and Christopher Pike and whatever this is. Oh, Elantris. This is one of the ones I was missing. Mm. There's also a few in here that are like my my mum's old mystery thriller type books. I guess they're like romances as well. I read a lot of these when I was younger and so I have an emotional attachment to them, even if they're maybe not actually appropriate for young children. Oh, there's some point thrillers in here as well. Then the next box. Some random lipstick holders. Oh, this guy. Ah, oh, here's the Mistborn book I was missing. And what else? This I think is a secret book, so don't look at that. A few random things, but this mostly looks like Tiger and Dell books and Mercedes Lackey books. Oh, and also some Julian May books. Then the last box in this pile. There's some another one behind me. Mm. This is quite a random selection, but I do think that it was these books and these books that I was missing when I was trying to put my shelves together. Hmm. Okay, last box of books and then all I need to do is work out what I'm doing with them. I don't know what I'm doing with the Jaren series now that I have finished the series, but like I didn't really love it. So maybe I should get rid of it. What are the rings? This is a bunch of mystery thrillers, some old random Stephen King books, and then I guess a few random sci-fi books. So as usually happens for me now that I've opened all these boxes I feel thoroughly overwhelmed. So what I'm gonna do is probably just chuck them all on the bookshelves, piggledy piggledy, and another day we'll try and work out what we're gonna do next. Hello! So it is a horrible rainy day and we're gonna try and finally get into this bookshelf. I have changed the heights a little bit here and like redone some designs but I now have like stacks of books on the floor all over the place. Oh and on the desk as well although I did actually clear a bunch of this mess that I had around here away so that I have room to stack things on the desk. So I kind of have like half my desk, I like to have it quite empty so that I can do this thing where I just randomly decide to make stacks of books or whatever on it and have that space. Anyway, I think the next steps here is I'm gonna take some of these tall books up here and move them down here now that I've made this higher. I'm also thinking like here, I have a stack of like yellowy books. I'm gonna try and make a shelf of yellowy red orange books and a stack of like more white and pastel books. Um, I'll try and put those on maybe those two shelves or actually I might move this one around and try and make this because this end is kind of pastel -y. not this one. Well it's very hard to point in the mirror, not this one. Um, I'm gonna try and make this a pastel -y one but move it down with these other pastel -y shelves down here and then I guess we'll we'll stop, we'll try again to see where we're at. Actually also here currently I've put a bunch of the like shelf decoration-y type stuff I have. I don't think I'm gonna put any of it on at the moment just because I don't think I'm gonna have enough room on my shelves if I do that and I don't like it to be too cluttered. So anyway let's see how these new shelf ideas work out.
Okay, let's talk about where we're at. I've put all these like bright orange and red and yellow books up here and I ended up splitting it between fantasy and sci-fi. Actually, I think I'm going to put this one somewhere else. I think on this shelf I might try and put a bunch of blue books, maybe? And I need to see what other sci-fi books I could find to maybe pack this out a bit. It is a bit annoying, like there's this blue and green in here and I don't feel like they really fit with the vibes, but also they belong to series of other books that are on the shelf and like I still want to keep my series together. I'm kind of just going for with this organization uh, vibes, kind of trying to keep things in size order and then trying to keep series together. I've kind of accepted that I'm not going to have authors completely together or I'm trying to have them around the same area. I don't know. Anyway, I've decided the next step is going to be uh, I have a bunch of like brownie books including like here. I've got some weird gaps at the end of this. Oh and I filmed this one. Uh, at the end of this one I've, it's kind of not quite the right size mainly because I moved the, these two Elantris books out. Don't ask me why I've got two. This one's, I'll tell you anyway, um, this one's signed but it is in crappy condition but it's a hardback and this is a soft cover. I kind of want to put this in here but then I feel like if I'm gonna use this Mistborn bookend in here then I should have it right next to Mistborn and something about my brain is totally mad about the idea of putting Elantris to the right of Mistborn or like in between Mistborn 1 and 2, like that's just wrong so we're not doing that. Um, but these are brown and I have a bunch of brownie books so I might try and do a shelf of brownie books probably in between this one and these white ones and then I might move these white ones down to the bottom shelf where at the moment I've got non-fiction books so then I'll move the non-fiction ones right up to the top and then I guess once again we'll reassess. Okay, so I feel like I've forgotten where we were at when I last updated you, but we now have all the books on the shelves. I don't have any piles around me anymore. I did have to go right up onto the top and I didn't get as much room up there for soft toys as I thought I was going to get because I've just got too many books. Even um, right down here at the bottom, I've ended up like stacking a bunch of books behind the books. Like they, these Babysitter's Club ones are too deep and then these are a bunch of books that are either from my childhood or just not very aesthetically pleasing and then back here I've got a bunch of Sweet Belly High books and I honestly just couldn't fit them anywhere else. So I'm just keeping them down the bottom and at some point when I have more shelf space we can work out a better solution. So I did, once I got this all up, I kind of had a sit and I just looked at it for a long time and I think I'm mostly happy with it. However, I've come up with a plan. I, I'll put the picture here. I basically, I took a photo and put it into my iPad and I drew on it. I kind of just want to have the shelves in different places because I feel like having all these yellowy orangey ones on one side makes the overall view a bit lopsided. As well, I still have uh, all the Crooked Saints just like floating here. It, it needs a, a real home. And I think as well there's a few shelves, like this brownie shelf. It's mostly all fantasy and that's fine except that we have the host and the dry and they just feel really out of place to me so I think I want to try and move those. Oh and to be honest it's annoying me that Elantris is under the Mistborn books even though it doesn't really matter. Oh and it's also annoying me um, that these other Sanderson books are not with those Sanderson books although I'm not actually sure <laughs> if I thought about that in my iPad plan. But basically now I'm just going to do a bunch of high level shuffling and then hopefully we'll be done and I'll give you like a bit of a tour. Okay, I'm starting to think a perfect bookshelf layout may not be possible at least until I get more bookshelves. My problem at the moment is I still don't have a place for these two. I kind of want the host to go with some other sci-fi books but really that either means somehow fitting it on this shelf 
or there are some other sci-fi books down here and like does that even make sense for these sci-fi ones to be with these fantasy ones and like where does this this is a romance like where does this fit i don't even have any other romances and this one is a thriller and like when i look at it my thrillers are all over the place there's a few up here oh that's sci-fi too hmm there's like one thriller here there's one over here it's kind of all over the place so i don't really even know where i want to try and fit that but also i remember now even though i didn't write it well on my notes that i kind of wanted to move these blue ones down here more up to here to continue this blue at the top kind of shelf but also i still kind of want to keep this mistborn bookend up the top because i think it looks better up the top oh and one last problem is this one here so i put dark dawn facing out because i really love the cat cover and i would love to have it facing out but now on this shelf i have two books facing out and i want to have both of these facing out because i like the covers of both but like i don't want them to be on the same shelf then so i think i want to try and find a new home for dark dawn in the never night series but where is that I'm just gonna stare at it for a while and maybe a solution will present itself. Hello, so it is now a couple of days later. I kind of just sat with my bookshelves for a while and every like little while I would sit and look at them and just move one thing. Now I think I'm getting to the point where anytime I consider moving something, I actually think I'm making it worse. So I think we're gonna leave it for now. I'm gonna give you a bit of a tour shelf by shelf. I'll maybe tell you what some of my problems are, but we're probably not gonna change things for a while because I do also want to tell you like long-term plans for this room, all of which are now waiting. I basically have to sell my house in Auckland before I can afford to like buy anything for this room or make any of those kind of changes. But once I do have a bit of money, the plan is to buy like a half width bookshelf and I will put it in the middle here and then that will move things along. I think it does mean that it will cover over the, the light switch a little bit, but I talk with Jace, he thinks we can just shuffle it along a little bit because there's quite a bit of space between the doorway and the light switch so we can move it along. Should be able to fit that in. So then that'll give me some more shelf space because I also, I didn't really put, I put some of my knickknacks on here but I don't want it to be like really cluttered. So I didn't put that many on but I think once I have some more shelf space, I'll have a bit more room for that. Also, over here, I have my drawers. These will go back under the desk and then I'm going to get some like a half height bookshelf for here and I'll put on it like makeup and stationery and crafts and more of my knickknacks and probably also some books and then long long term we'll take this wardrobe and turn this into bookshelves as well and then i'll have lots of bookshelf space it should be enough although there's also a lot of books i'd like to buy but there's also probably some books on the shelf that i could get rid of maybe i don't really need them which we'll get to when i get to the tour uh, also my plan is i kind of like i think i need to work it out a bit better but i kind of like to have like an armchair in this corner i think that will mean I can use this light, although I'll probably replace this fitting, but I can use this light here as like a reading light. The only thing I'm worried about is because this corner here is like right next to my desk. And is it weird to have an armchair and then my desk chair? Because this is where I want my desk, so that's how it's going to be. Um, at the moment, I'm using this really shitty office chair as well of Jace's and this. Depending how much I sell my house for, if I sell it for a good amount, I'm gonna buy myself a super fancy office chair but if it's below what i'm hoping for then we'll probably have to go for just like a normally nice office chair we'll see i guess as well with my desk it's hard to show you at the moment because the sun is so bright um this is kind of what is on my computer at the moment don't look too close this is kind of my desk setup i like it to have this big empty space that i can just put random things on but i would like to get uh some better containers for like my stationary stuff I have been using over here, this is a terrible way to be holding this, over here, ignore my very non-aesthetic drink bottle, I've been using this gold thing that I bought that I honestly don't know why I bought it, but I've been using it just to put notebooks and whatever other desk stuff on and it's, it's working quite well for me and I think it doesn't look that bad. But anyway, let me show you where we've ended up with the bookshelves. 
Okay, so up the top here, we basically have my care bears. I did try to fit some more bears up there, but I just did not have the space. Then we have a stack of Anne McCaffrey books. I feel like as well they could go better somewhere else, but I just never fit them in anywhere else. Uh, kind of the same with the Kate Elliott Crown of Stars series. And also, now that I look at these on the shelf, I really wish I had the whole set in those editions that I have the last two in, but I don't know if that would ever be possible, but maybe we'll hope. Then, in the middle, uh, at the top of the like join between the shelves, I did manage to fit my mum's old thriller books. They just kind of perfectly fit there, even though, again, I don't know if that's the best way to present them, but for now we're making do. Uh, then I have a bunch of Christopher Pike books. I really need to do a reread of Christopher Pike. I keep them because I love them so much in my teens, but I really have my doubts as to whether I would love them as much now. And then, since I was putting, you know, my weird, supernaturally scary Pike books there. I also put the rest of my point thrillers, uh, the random Stephen King books I have, which are actually ones that I um, found on the side of the road, and they're not very good quality. Uh, so maybe one day I'll re replace those two, but I did really like the two that I have, so I kind of want to have them. And then as well, right on the edge there, we have uh, my Buffy graphic novels. I'm still a bit sad that I don't have the whole set, but then also the series did go downhill, so maybe I don't care. I would like to have the whole lock and key series. Uh, and then right on the top there is Quazzle, which again, the main reason I kept that book is because of the cover, and you can't really see it when I present it like this, but um, we really do have a lack of space on these shelves, so I need to buy some more. That's, that's my reasoning. Anyway, that is the top shelf. Then next, I kind of tried to put bluey books along this next shelf, like along here. Um, I tried to make most of my thrillers end up at the beginning, and then we've got just some random fantasies. I kind of feel like in the past I've done a better job of putting similar books together, uh, and I'm somewhat annoyed that I have a Nancy Boys not with American Gods, but maybe in the long run I could fix that when I have a bit more space to work with. Then we have the Exiles Saga by Melanie Ron, which will never be finished, and I cry about that regularly, so maybe I should even hide those books so I don't remind myself. Um, I do like that I put Dark Dawn with the cat visible up near the top. I feel like a cat on a bookshelf definitely should be near the top. Some random Stephen Donaldson books, which I would really like to reread the first two trilogies in that world and then read the next one, which I think is a quartet, but it's such a long series, I don't know when I'd have time for that. And then, what else? What else is on that shelf? Oh, a couple of random New Zealand authored books, and Black Trillium, which again I loved as a teen, so it does kind of go with those pike ones on the shelf above. Then on this side it's more kind of like fantasy, maybe like urban fantasy type things, but then the N.K. Jemisin books don't go with that. That stack there as well of the Jennifer E. Stepp Elemental Assassin's books is too deep because I have so many of those. I actually gave them all to my mum for like different occasions and then recently she gave them all back to me. So definitely gift your loved ones books because you never know when they might decide to do a clear out and gift them all back to you. I'm also sad that I don't have matching editions for the, what is that series called? The Midnight series. I always say I don't mind having non-matching editions, but then when it comes to organizing my bookshelf, suddenly I feel like I do care, even though it doesn't matter for reading them, and that's the main thing. And I will say, for those N.K. Jemisin books, they actually match, which is amazing because I got both of those for free from random little free libraries. Then we have uh, my little Mistborn bookend squished in there. I kind of like that being up high. I think it works better than um, the other one, which I put lower on the shelves. And everything to the right of that is kind of sci-fi, except Wicked is not, the Time Lizard's Archaeologist is not, and that's such a weird book, but I'm keeping it just for the weird title. Uh, but the rest of them are sci-fi and all ones that I quite liked. Oh, except Provenance, which I haven't read, but I need to read all the ancillary books first, which I am super hyped to do when I get the time. So I'm a little bit annoyed about having Wicked on that shelf in the place where it is, but I also feel like aesthetically that was the best I could do. Again, we need more space. I just need to keep telling myself that to justify any expenses I need to cover. Okay, then 
On the next shelf, we have kind of ready yellow orange books, mostly. I'm a little bit annoyed about Ballad being there and being blue, but again, I don't think there's anywhere better to put it. I did also put my like Final Fantasy poo poo um, mug. I, I don't know, my brother got it for me from Japan. I really like it. I put that there. I feel like I could place it better, but again, I need more space. I'm just gonna, I'm so good at convincing myself of that. But I do like how bright this shelf is in general. I don't think I want to necessarily call out every book on these because we're now getting into things where it's not so much big blocks of series. But a lot of really good fantasy here. Um, probably I'm a little bit annoyed about The Hobbit looking a little bit weird where it is because it's the wrong height and the wrong colour. I probably just need to find a nicer edition of The Hobbit but also it feels like it's probably unnecessary given that I'm not a massive Tolkien fan compared to a lot of people. So that's kind of the bright fantasy shelf and then over here we have the bright sci-fi shelf which is less bright. There's a lot more blue on this side. Um, I did also put this little, I want to say figure, it's not a figure, what is it? I don't know, it's a, oh, I can't think of the word. Anyway, I've put Mbot here, that's not the way that he's meant to be displayed but I didn't like him when I put him the way he's supposed to be. Um, Mbot is from the Skyward series if you don't know. Anyway, I love Mbot even though I didn't like the end of that series so I've put him there. I would again like to have more space so I could better display him. Um, also if I look at my problems with this shelf I don't like the Martian. It looks terrible there next to Project Hail Mary even though that's where it belongs. I also don't like that I have different editions of Crest and Winter even though I totally had the opportunity to have matching editions and I decided it was a waste of money but now I wish I'd done a better job there. I also would really like to get a proper edition of Arrival by Ted Chang. It's actually meant to be called Stories of Your Life and Others but I got the movie tie-in edition before I realized how much I love that book. Okay so this shelf is kind of my brownie yellow shelf. I really hate my edition of Tandia and I constantly question whether I should keep her fearful symmetry. I'm also annoyed that Swordbound uh, in the Tiger Dell series is a weird little short book. And also a little bit annoyed that the rest of the books in that Storm Rising series, what is that called? Mage Storm series. I'm annoyed that I've only made one visible and the others are behind it because they're all beautiful books and I'd like them all to be visible even though that's probably a bit over the top. But other than that I generally like the vibes of this shelf. Then over here this is basically a recreation of a shelf I had previously at my old house. Got the Sanderson Secret Project books, then my nicer V. Schwab books, some Rothfuss things and some other nice hardbacks that I have. I'm pretty happy with this shelf except for uh, Long Chills and Kesto shouldn't just be randomly sitting on the top there. And these are all the bookmarks I think. Yeah I need a better place for them as well. Then this is where we get a bit of a limitation to the room in that I, I still like I like the idea of having this light as a reading light but it's also a little bit in the way but totally removing it is probably more work than I'd like to do. I also don't think the Mistborn bookend looks as good because I think it looks better when it's up higher. Um, I guess I'm just also a little bit annoyed that there aren't more books in the Kate Daniels world to spread that out. I'm a little bit annoyed that I haven't put a little hatred with the last argument of kings on the shelf above but also the books aesthetically don't look like they go together so I don't know. I just mainly put a little hatred with the other books around it because I thought it looked like it belonged there. Um, I'm also annoyed that I don't have more books from Mistborn Era 2 but because Sanderson is such a popular author I feel like there's a good chance I could get them either from little libraries or from secondhand bookshops for fairly cheap without actually having to spend a lot of money. Um, so shout out to my sister who got me that copy of Bands of Morning actually from the library I think. Um, then over here we have some more Sanderson books. I am going to have to readjust this shelf for sure once the fifth Stormlight Archive book comes out which I'm excited about. Also because you are a bit too high you can't see at the very top of this stack I have This Is How You Lose the Time War. I every day think about moving this. I probably will move it to somewhere else. 
But this shelf is also mostly a rebuild of another shelf I had last time I built these bookshelves. And I mostly like it. I do think Nightblood will be a little bit more scented, better once we get Wind and Truth. But we shouldn't have to wait too long for that, so that's exciting. Okay, then we have this white shelf along with uh, Ruck from Death Note. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Anyway, Death Note books I actually got from my brother when he moved to Australia. And I'm very happy to have them on my shelf. But I used to have uh, this guy hiding down a bit of a hole behind books and I feel like he was more comfortable hiding in a hole. There's also quite a lot of books here which are like incomplete series and books that don't really go together like random romances and random literary books by Maori authors. Like it's a little bit of a weird collection here, some weird sci-fi and horrors. I don't know. I'm also a little bit annoyed about having Warbreaker not close to the Stormlight Archives, especially uh, having just done a reread of Oathbringer and discovering how connected those series are. But also my edition of Warbreaker is a destroyed copy from a little free library, so one day I'll get myself a nicer copy. I actually hate those white Brandon Sanderson books, so long term I'd rather have none of those. Then over here is mostly my Robin Hobb shelf. However, I ended up putting the Ladies of Grace of Jew there. I honestly got that from a little free library purely because I thought it was pretty, but I have heard that it's really good and I should read it, so one day I might. But the way I've got it now, you can't see any of the Soldier Sun trilogy, which is kind of good because it doesn't fit the vibes of the shelf, but also sad because I do like that trilogy. Also, I'm missing some of the books from The Realm of the Elderlings, which at some point I would like to fix, but once I do that, things won't fit on the shelf anymore, so I don't know. But I am happy that I got Ship of Destiny out displaying the cover, because it really is a beautiful cover. Then, next shelf. So this has kind of turned into a bluey, tealy shelf. There's also a fair amount of like YA and middle grade stuff that I put on this shelf, although some books definitely don't belong there, like probably Masters of Death is debatable. I'm not sure if that's YA or not. I feel like there might be some wildly inappropriate things for YA, but I can't think of any. I guess Masters of Death and Roses of Rotten may be new at all, but otherwise, oh and Butcher Bird. Butcher Bird's such a hard one for my shelves because it's such a bright green, I feel like it never fits anywhere. And even though I kind of like the colour scheme here, I feel like it's a bit, just a bit random in terms of the, the collection of books. I'd probably like to pull out more of my favourites and put them more prominent somewhere. But at least I got all the Crooked Saints visible. Then over here we have uh, my Julia May books. This is a kind of a couple of series I really want to reread at some point and I'm really hoping I'll love them since I've collected almost the whole set. Except that, again, you can see I don't have the Many Coloured Land in a matching edition, which I would like to achieve someday. And I guess as well, the stack I've made on the right is quite a random collection. And I'm now thinking maybe I'd like to try and have the stack more like fitting the colour scheme. But for now it's probably fine. And then we have the bottom shelves which are the ugliest. So these are mostly my non-fiction books. It's a bit of a random collection. I don't actually know, like a lot of these business books, do I even want any of these anymore? I don't know. I don't actually know if I'm interested in that stuff at all anymore. I need some more time to decide. But I pretty much just put those in height order. Kind of. And there's a few at the end that are kind of fiction, but I couldn't fit them anywhere else, so I just put them there. And then this shelf is the most disaster -y. I've just got so many Babysitter's Club books. And then I've actually got a big stack of Sweet Valley High books at the back there as well that I kind of was hoping to read someday as a bit of a project. And there, there's a lot on here of just like New Zealand books and books that I don't know whether I should keep them. A bunch of children picture books. I don't know. This is the weirdest collection. But it's right at the bottom, so most of the time nobody's going to look at it. And I kind of just wanted to fill it up to try and like give the, the bookshelf in general some stability. So that is my bookshelves organized for now. I'm sure I will reorganize them many, many times. But let me know if you have any thoughts and let me know how you organize your bookshelf. What kind of problems do you have with it? Is it just that you don't have enough space? Maybe. Anyway, let's chat down in the comments. Uh, do subscribe if you'd like to see more of my bookish videos. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are doing well, and I will see you next time.